second I tore my ACL back in 2020, I knew I was going to play soccer again collegiately. It wasn't a matter of if, it was just a matter of when. It was our uh, third game of the season when I got injured, like three minutes into the third game, and I ended up tearing my ACL, lateral meniscus, medial meniscus, and sprained a number of other things. The injury was in fall 2020, and I graduated spring 2021. And I just felt that my time at Georgia State had finished. I felt like that chapter for me was completed and that whatever God had next for me, that it was gonna look different. So I graduated and with that, I stepped into my career a little bit. I took ample time to recover because I knew I wanted to keep playing soccer for the rest of my life. I didn't want to rush anything in six months, eight months. I wanted to have a proper time for everything with my knee to recover, to feel safe every time I cut and turn. So, you know, I think the coaching staff and the girls can say here that I've just been able to hit the ground running, so I haven't had any hesitations, and I think that was the big thing for me. So that's kind of what made me think about taking a little bit more time to heal just physically and emotionally. So I've been playing soccer in pickup leagues all around Atlanta, and that has just given me the opportunity to really grow in my love for the game again. I think college athletics can be difficult for some athletes because it changes from what we had when we were younger. So, you know, it kind of morphs it into something different. So that time off gave me the opportunity to cultivate the love of the game again. I mean, I'm, I'm playing pickup with a group of guys, shirts versus skins, until 11 p.m. when the lights go out on a Tuesday. I met Eric Faulkner back in 2017 when he was at Armstrong State. So I was in the recruiting trail with him the first go round out of uh, high school. And so obviously him and I had different paths there. But the real thing is kind of coming back home. I've got lots of family, lots of friends there. And so just being in a comfortable space where it feels, feels like home and it just feels somewhere safe to play soccer again. And so that's the big thing for me. And I've just loved every minute of it. Coming here with these girls, it's a great group of girls. I mean, they love each other, they love soccer. Eric's created a great environment for us just to be ourselves, just to play freely. So I think that's been the huge thing that I've just been so grateful to be a part of. Yeah, Liz! Yeah, Liz! Yeah.